गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई एम एनिमेश जाना हु लुक आफ्टर आर एंड डी डिपार्टमेंट इन लेबोरेटरी इंडस्ट्रियल फाइनेंस एज वेल एज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ टेंपरेचर कैलकुलेटर सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लेबोरेटरी टाइप फर्नेसेस एंड इंडस्ट्रियल बेस्ड फर्नेसेस एंड ओवेंस सो द फर्नेसेस विल नॉट ओनली इन्वॉल्व इन द रेजिस्टेंस हीटिंग एलिमेंट but also will be microwave technology based uh, furnaces will be there i will uh, discuss all of them uh, but before uh, going into details in furnace uh, let me discuss about our uh, companies uh, so we are tension instrument uh, basically we provide thermal and cable solution in industry within that uh, from this so 50% of revenue Uh, related to a temperature sensors, uh, temperature sensors that include uh, different type of RTDs, uh, bearing type RTDs. Twenty four percent revenue come from different type of cable sensor that include uh, industrial cables, high temperature cables, and the different type of compensating cable. Basically, like for different type of thermocouples, you know that for uh, J type, K type, R type, so all type of compensating cable. that revenue percentage almost 24% and we also provide uh, heating solution that include different type of heaters uh, industrial heater tubular heater uh, and your uh, nicr heaters ceramic mat heater and also different type of heating solution to different type of industries that include 16% of revenue and uh, you know we have more than uh, 600 employees uh, with us and uh, we we are our year of growth approximate uh, more than 30% and we have all the uh, valued customer uh, almost 6500 all over the world and uh, this is the different uh, uh, share uh, we have all over the world like in euro we have 15% share and uh, in africa almost 5% and north america and south america include almost 6% uh, we provide different type of thermal and cable solution to them and india almost 61% we cover and in asia specific and uh, southeast asia we almost 13% cover uh, different type of uh, heater and cable solution we provided uh, so we have uh, basically five plants uh, in india uh, uh, one one unit is dedicated for different type of temperature sensor other unit uh, dedicated for different type of heaters tubular heaters ceramic mat heaters and different type of industrial heaters and other unit dedicated for your uh, different type of non contact type temperature sensors like pyrometer uh, thermal camera and also one uh, unit is dedicated for different type of furnaces temperature calibrator and thermoels uh we have uh, outside of india we have also two plant manufacturing plant one uh, is in uh, tension germany and other one is in pt tension asia ja in jakarta indonesia so we have all the necessary certificates for our products uh, to satisfy and to meet all the requirement industrial requirement throughout in world we have a very strong marketing network throughout worldwide as well as in domestic you can see in india we have uh, east to west north south all region we have our sales representative and also worldwide uh, we have our distributor as well as sales representative so for our product guide or installation purpose or any uh, discussion we are all available Uh, we have all the uh, worldwide distributor uh, we available uh, uh, now the basic design aspect of the furnace that is very important uh, because okay at product trial uh, wise i will go uh, step by step for the all furnaces and laboratory and industrial furnaces but what we basically consider to design a uh, a furnace or either a, as a laboratory based furnace or industrial furnaces to meet the customer requirement so you can see uh, there is uh, what type of inputs we need from our customer or what type of calculation or what type of aspect we have to consider to design and furnish let me discuss so first uh, what we understand from the from the customer that what their basic operation uh, and what type of atmosphere and what type of material they are going to treatment and what type of uh, uh, reaction or what type of 
uh, their chemical reaction will be like either it will be centering or uh, either it will be normal heat treatment uh, process either it will be drying or annealing process so lot of process uh, there so we have to understand that what customer intend to do with the furnaces that we have to check and also the main thing uh, very important uh, during this operation there are some uh, if any reaction is uh, happening or not or any gas is coming whether gas is uh, uh, we have to exhaust or not that all aspect we have to consider and second we have to check that whether the material is in batch type or continuous type either customer intended to uh, check their samples batch wise or continuously they want to uh, heat treatment of this of their material <laughs> and most importantly our from our expect uh, we provide different type of programming uh, based temperature uh, furnaces there we can control whole ram uh, ram setting uh, holding time heating speed cooling speed and maximum temperature whether uh, so that we all can control so that basically uh, depend on the customer needs or their uh outcome what outcome they are uh, required customer required so based on that we can define all the uh, programming we can do through our, uh, through our controller setting advanced controller setting that heating speed cooling speed your ram time your holding time and as well as the furnace itself have a uh, should have uniform temperature distribution throughout the uh, uh, furnaces so that that also vary uh because if you, if you get the lab type uh, furnaces like muffle furnace or high temperature furnace that is for 20 liter 50 liter so temperature uniformity you will get approximate 2 3 degree plus minus 2 3 degree but when it is comes to uh, big furnaces like conveyor mesh belt furnaces or big analytic furnaces so definitely the uniformity change to 10 to 15 degree plus minus 15 degree so that uh, that many aspect is there so before going to design any furnace uh, uh, for the customers so uh, what is the factor uh, that uh, very important to design any uh, furnace one is the heater uh, means there is different type of heaters available resistance resistance heating element is there whether environment is oxidizing or non oxidizing that is also very important factor whether it is vacuum or normal atmospheric uh, pressure that uh, very important to define any heater performance second one is the insulation basically you know that insulation uh, is uh, prevent your heat loss and also somehow give you the uh, good uh, uniform zone uh, uh, and uh, basically it uh, 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 prevent any heat loss so insulation is very important to give a eff efficient uh, furnace Uh, uh to uh, provide efficient uh, furnace uh, to the customers second of the temperature measurement temperature measurement what type of temperature uh, customer is whether it is continuous if it is high temperature like uh, 1000 degree or uh, 1200 degree centigrade is it continuous or customer may be need step wise let's say in uh, 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 5 degree per minute uh, it should go from room temperature to 500 degree in again Uh, with the different ram 10 degree or 20 degree centigrade per minute to reach a uh, different uh, set point uh, 800 degree 1000 degree so that temperature measurement process we have to understand second was the control units and power supply so there are lots of uh, controller advanced controller available uh, based on the what what is your inputs is coming and how many inputs at a time you have to control whether you you need to data logging uh, continuous data logging required or not and there is different type of thyristor is there based on different of phase whether your furnace is one phase single phase two phase three phase or star delta connection based on that we can select our pid controller and thyristor to uh, have a good and efficient power controlling and temperature controlling in the furnace and all furnaces have a provision for different type of atmospheric control or either vacuum environment we can provide the vacuum up to 10 to the power minus 7 millibar to the furnaces and also uh, control atmosphere like some process need to be under uh, nitrogen atmosphere or normal air, air atmosphere or helium atmosphere so whatever uh, your atmosphere is needed or gas needed that provision is there inside that furnace and outer body there is also important the enclosure part 
the enclosure part is very important because uh, your uh, your skin temperature should not be go beyond some certain uh, temperature like we uh, sometimes uh, unless have a very high temperature like the 2000 degree centigrade or 1600 degree centigrade we have to make sure the skin temperature should not go beyond 60 degree or 50 degree so sometimes we have to come with not uh, as a single enclosure maybe a double a double uh, a double chamber design you have to follow or sometimes we have to do the uh, water water flowing uh, inside between the two enclosure to make sure the skin temperature should not go beyond 60 degree centigrade in any circumstances so for this purpose also we have to design our enclosure the outer body so these are the main factors to uh, design a furnace so like uh, as i say for heating elements there is different type of uh, heating elements available like as based on the temperature and uh, and, and the atmosphere like nickel chromium alloy uh it can go up to 1150 100 degree centigrade silicon carbide we used when your temperature is about 1500 or 1550 degree centigrade molybdenum moasi2 we are using up to 1800 degree centigrade temperature or for vacuum atmosphere or non oxidized atmosphere we use tungsten molybdenum or graphite heaters that is for vacuum furnaces where vacuum is there when the temperature is much more uh, approximate up to 3000 degree centigrade <coughs> we can use that type of heaters also uh, these are the images uh, basically uh, first one is the kantha heater second one is the nicr heater third uh, uh, third one is the silicon carbide uh, heater and bottom left is the moci2 heater u type heaters and uh, next is the tungsten heater uh, so this is the diff different type of uh, heater construction based on the vacuum uh, customer need is uh, based on their application like for lower temperature uh, we go, we can go for the strip type design or if it is uh, more than 2000 degree centigrade then we go for the uh, mesh type design tungsten mesh type design and the last one is the graphite heaters sometime uh, we can uh, up to 2000 degree or 800 degree centigrade we can uh, go for the graphite graphite heater we can go but uh, the tungsten and graphite basically for your vacuum atmosphere and that is the uh, different type of insulation uh, material uh, we are outsourcing insulation material throughout from very good uh, uh, throughout the world is good uh, resources because that insulation material is very important to prevent your heat losses and design any furnaces so like uh, we use different type of insulation like ceramic blanket we used uh, for lower temperature or different type of industrial furnace we use ceramic fiber board or bricks uh, for the high temperature application up to 1800 degree centigrade and outside of the ceramic boards we use different type of microporous or aluminum coated microporous board to stay while uh, uh, decrement in the temperature so at, as i said earlier your uh, main purpose is prevent heat losses and skin temperature should not go beyond 60 degree so design that aspect we have to use specific heating material and the insulation material to uh, to make sure that your uh, furnace is efficient and uh, reaching and stabilize your temperature whatever customer needed and your skin temperature should not go beyond uh, 60 degree and that is the different type of temperature measurement uh, so you know that temperature measurement is very important uh, means based on the feedback element as a temperature sensor your whole uh, control system dependent on on this controlling sensor so there is basically temperature sensor we use uh, thermocouples uh, for lower temperature uh, we use uh, n type thermocouples like uh, 700 degree 800 degree or 1000 degree beyond that like 1200 degree uh, 1400 degree we go, go for the nobel metal type thermocouples like r type s type b type and that to simplex or duplex if if uh, we, we normally provide safety controller or additional safety features say over temperature features then we go for the uh, duplex type thermocouples where you can uh, you can take another uh, inputs temperature inputs to controlling or give any protection circuit to the furnaces and uh, there is special type of some uh, sensor is there like c type thermocouple is there normally basically when your temperature is more than 2000 degree centigrade 
or pyrometer, non-contact type pyrometer sensor we also used like for uh, microwave uh, furnace or vacuum <coughs> furnace for 2500 degree or 3000 degree where you used C-type thermocouple as well as pyrometer uh, to cover that high temperature uh, 2000 above 2000 degree centigrade. So all type of uh, controlling sensor we manufacture ourselves and we have all facility uh, to manufacture all temperature sensor. And this is basically diagram of power supply and controllers. As I mentioned earlier, we have different type of resistance element like MOSI2, SIC heater, canthal based heater, tungsten heater, graphite heater. For all the heating elements, the controlling uh, uh, controlling phenomena means controlling technology is different. Means uh, we have to check special care and selecting thyristor and controller because all thyristor and controller is not uh, basically valid for all type of uh, heaters. So based on the resist uh, resisting heating element, and uh, what control, uh, control, basically uh, uh, control uh, parameter we are uh, we are going to uh, monitor based on that we select our sensor as well as the controller and the thyristor that uh, that we have to define. Sometimes we have to use transformer in the controlling circuit to uh, provide heating power to the heaters. So that is for uh, like MOSI to heater we use transformer where thyristor give to transfer, uh, transformer output and again that uh, transformer output go to heaters. So based on the different type of heaters uh, and their uh, controlling technology, we used that controller, particular controller and the thyristors. Sometimes it is voltage control, sometimes it is uh, uh, thyristor, you know, 4 to 20 milliampere input, sometimes uh, single phase connection is there, sometimes three phase connection is there. In three phase also there is uh, delta connection, some furnace made for delta connection, some furnaces is for star connection without neutral. So there is based on electrical connection and the type of controller and heating element is there, we select thyristor and, uh, and the uh, controller. So now the very important uh, thing is that calculation of power required means how much power is uh, required for your of product or material uh, that is very important because uh, we not only we, we can't consider only the temperature we have to consider the losses also that what what during the whole process what what uh, how much will be the power losses and how much power needed to reach certain temperature in certain time so all that factor we have to consider so uh, this is the uh, base, very basic uh, uh, calculation is there, but also we have our, our own software and other uh, uh, as software, ANSI software, where we can analyze whole uh, uh, furnace performance and heating time and what is the power is needed. So, but it is uh, basically very basic calculation uh, where we, can, uh, we need some data from customer, like what type of sample means uh, uh, whether it is assays, whether the sample is aluminium, whether you know, the customer sample is ceramic, type of uh, uh, samples and the uh, workpiece uh, material customer going to use and what will be the temperature they need, means how much temperature they want to increase, whether it is, it is up to 800 degree heat treatment or 1000 degree heat treatment or 1600 degree heat treatment, means what uh, temperature they are going to uh, reach and what is the time uh, within 30 minutes they want to reach or within two hours they want to reach or within 24 hours they want to reach so that see time and what temperature they are going to reach and what type of material and what is the mass of this material our workpiece that is very important and the other factor is B factor that is basically the container means normally we don't put samples directly inside the furnace we have to use some container like in oven or some furnaces. We have some container made of sometimes inconel, uh, sometimes made of ACs, sometimes made of aluminium, all type of uh, material, uh, or sometimes uh, made of tungsten or molybdenum. Based on different application, we use different type of com uh, container. And so, so we have to consider the weight and mass and the type of the container also. So we have uh, very two uh, uh, very important parameter, two important parameter. One is the type of the samples 
and what type of sample is there and the container where we are keeping the samples for heat treatment that is very important and the c uh, c and the third one is the power losses so during your whole process the power will be lost definitely it will not going to be zero so there will be some certain power will be lost with the uh, certain time so, uh, so that power we have to be consider when when we are designing a uh, furnaces so we have to add the c factor during our calculation so it is basically how uh, the uh, samples or work is uh, going to take and that is simple uh, formula is there that how much kilowatt it is taking uh, that is mcp delta t and uh, divided by 3600 nothing but how much time per hour uh, how much kilowatt needed to reach that temperature for the certain or uh, specific work piece and the container you have to add up this power with the container where we are keeping our samples so we have to always add these two power a plus b where we are we have to give the total power to this container and the work piece so that it can go in a certain temperature for a certain a specific time and main we have to include the power factor loss loss power factor is what you are calculating throughout the walls of the furnaces you have to include that power losses from the all side of wall that uh, how much it is going to uh, dissipate heat or loss loss we are saying the loss heat so that kilowatt we have to include it so that basically three parameter is very important uh, if we have a b and c parameter then we can understand that what uh, exact kilowatt is uh, we required to uh, to reach the temperature of a certain work piece for a specific time uh, time interval so uh, so i i discuss little bit about our uh, design aspect and the parameters now uh, uh, let me discuss different type of furnaces we offer and the first one is the laboratory furnaces the laboratory furnaces is best suited uh, for your lab environment uh, where the design is very compact portable and uh, you you have uh, batch basically the batch type sample you have so for these laboratory furnaces we make and uh, there are many types of laboratory furnaces we make like uh, muffle furnace high temperature furnace tubular furnace small bottom loading furnaces split tube furnaces and dental furnaces so this is the very laboratory based furnace the small compact portable and definitely suit your laboratory environment so first one is the muffle furnace uh, as you know muffle furnace is uh, made of a muffle muffle either made of from silicon carbide and where different type of heating element wrapping that uh, uh, that uh, muffles like kanthal kanthal heater is there nicr heating element is there to reach different of temperature up to 1200 degree centigrade we offer our standard muffle furnace and you can see there is uh, all type of volume uh, like 1.5 liter to uh, up to 20 liter muffle uh, volume we can offer to customers and the weight also you can see that like for lower uh, lower range standard that is mf112 weight is just 20 kg and also it uh, goes up to 80 kg where you need almost 20 20 liter volume for your uh, sample or work piece treatment and uh, it is it uh, uses for all type of annealing as determination coal analysis or sometimes sintering process or other heat treatment process it is perfect laboratory based muffle furnace uh, and also power consumption is uh, relatively industrial grade is very less you can see uh, from 2 kilowatt to 8 kilowatt it just uh, take and also that muffle furnace uh, have a provision you can if you have any specific requirement like you need any inert uh, atmosphere you need it you have to purge any nitrogen gas or helium gas or hydrogen gas atmosphere you need it also if you need any vacuum atmosphere that all can provision we can give in the muffle furnace also and uh, second one is the high temperature furnace basically its range uh, we provide up to 1800 degree centigrade so based on the temperature like for 1400 we use silicon carbide heating element for Uh, uh 1800 degree centigrade we used mosi to molybdenum silicon uh, dioxide heaters 
and also the volume we offer up to uh, seven liter, so seven to eight liter, uh, where you can uh, uh, heat treatment your your work sample uh, up to eighteen hundred degrees centigrade, and based on the temperature we select our controlling sensor. Like for fourteen hundred degrees centigrade, our controlling temperature sensor is R type. But for eighteen hundred degrees centigrade, we use duplex B type. And all these uh, furnaces have a over temperature protection, and um, additional controller is there. Where if you have any uh, issue with the over temperature uh, there, so definitely we have another uh, backup is there. So many safety features. Uh, it's all the furnaces come with all the uh, different type of safety features. So all the high temperature furnace basically used for. Uh, a uh, ceramic heat treatment of ceramic material uh, and uh, annealing and glass melting applications firing process and powder metal metallurgy applications uh, these high temperature uh, laboratory furnace has been used and also uh, the exhaust system is there there is a provision of exhaust system so if any reaction chemical reaction is uh, built during this uh, high temperature process you can exhaust these uh, uh, gases to your uh, connect to customer exhaust system so that the gas should not come out to laboratory environment so that provision also be there and there is another is standard tubular furnaces we provide tubular furnaces up to 1700 degree centigrade basically uh, it constructed in a tube uh, main heating chamber is a ceramic tube or uh, it can be glass tubes or in corner in corner tubes based on the customer needed and the sizes is customized but basically uh, our standard is 50 by 200 or 80 mm id by 250 uh, mm heating zone means uh, diameter diameter of your tube will be 80 mm and the uh, heating uniform heating zone will be 250 mm but this heating zone and diameter of the tube uh, uh, strictly customizable means customer can uh, tell us how much Quantity uh, batch they have like if you have a four liter uh, four kg sample you have a ten kg uh, sample powder is there so based on that this diameter and the work zone we can change and we can provide up to seventeen hundred degree centigrade and the controlling sensor and heater uh, mentioned like in seventeen hundred degree centigrade we use B type thermocouple and the MOSI two heater we used and this is also using different type of hardening drying. annealing brazing centering applications and not only that uh, standard tubular furnace with the single zone we also provide the multi zone sometime customer need bigger um, zone uh, hot zone they need it 500 uh, mm or 800 mm so a single control zone is not enough so we can go up to three zone four zone five zone we can provide so that it can maintain a big uh, length bigger length uh, heating zone in uniform so that your sample should be uni uniformly heated throughout this region and at a, a batch type is more means, means we have you have your uh, large quantity 4 kg 10 kg or 12 kg sample at a time you can heat treatment and in a heat uh, uh, good from heating zone so a single controlling zone will not be applicable for this we have to use a uh, multiple heating zone there is a image in right side this is the three zone or uh, tubular uh, variant But sometimes it can be two zone, sometimes it can be six zone. Uh, that uh, we calculate based on our uh, requirement, this customer requirement uh, heating zone. We can uh, uh, customize that part. And another is the split two furnace. Split two furnace basically a horizontally oriented uh, chamber where the body split into two halves. The bigger advantage is that when you can open uh, the top part of these uh, furnaces, you can put your uh, uh, tube very easily. Means in your last tube furnace, when you install your tube, there is uh, there uh, you have you can't uh, suddenly remove that tube from the furnace. You have to disconnect all the ports or connection there. But in the split tube furnace, there is advantage. You have to you can open your split the top. part of the uh, furnaces in you can remove the uh, ceramic tube or glass tube or coarse tube based on the process application you can you can easily replaceable so basic advantage of the split tube furnace it is the replace replaceable means e loading and unloading of your material will be very easy for the split tube furnaces 
and the biggest another advantage is that uh, sometimes split tube com, uh, comes with the rotary arrangement when you have a two or three or five different type of chemical composition or powder is there and we have to mix it properly so a rotation should be there inside that uh, tube so that rotation can be implemented in the split tube furnace through different type of stepper motor or controlling uh, gear arrangement so that tube will be rotated and other uh, in one part you put your, your load your uh, chemical uh, powder different type of powder it will rotate inside this heating chamber and at the output you will uh, get the uniform uh, uh, output outcome where you, you are uniformly or the, all the your mixture will be mixed properly and the temperature we can reach in a split tube temperature up to 1600 degree centigrade and based on temperature we can uh, change our uh, temperature uh, heating element like for up to 1200 we use kantha heater uh, beyond that silicon carbide up to 1500 degree centigrade beyond 1500 degree centigrade we go for the molybdenum heater and uh, this is the another type of furnaces mainly apl applied in the dental applications uh, in dental application there is uh, many process is there like inlays olays crown of your dental and also sometimes ceramic sintering up to 1600 degree or uh, uh, they need it uh, so we have this dental furnace where advanced controller is integrated you can uh, reprogram based on your dental crown or dental inlay olays uh, application the what type of your ram or holding tile will be there so you can easily configure your program based on your applications and all the graph you can see that how your uh, material or the dental process or ceramic uh, material or zirconium oxide has been treated so all you can uh, program based on your material and the dental uh, or dental crown application you can uh, reprogram in this so yeah, uh, maximum operating temperature is 1200 degree centigrade but yes you can uh, go up to 1600 degree centigrade we can offer uh, that much also the vacuum atmosphere we can offer up to uh, 50 50 millibar or uh, 100 millibar vacuum we can provide uh, in this chamber where you can uh, treat it your ceramic material or dental part in vacuum atmosphere up to 1200 degree centigrade and it is the bottom loading furnace we uh, manufacture industrial bottom loading furnace that i will come to later but we also offer the small type bottom loading furnace where you have very small samples 4 kg 5 kg uh, up to 8 kg small sample is there so we, we we have our customer compact and portable design and it is come with the uh, that station bottom station can be movable uh, vertically movable and that also controllable means speed of this movement you can control and the temperature we can go up to 1800 degree centigrade and uh, the controlling sensor and heating element again based on the heating application will be there and the volume chamber is standard 120 by 120 by 120 but it's very based on a requirement it, it's very and the workload is more than we can customize the uh, heating chamber so uh, still now i discuss laboratory based uh, furnaces now we'll discuss the industrial furnaces where, where uh, ch challenges is more and uh, we have a different many variant for uh, for these industrial furnaces so basically this one the box or chamber furnaces this is uh, very standard furnaces and very uh, if you have a temperature up to 1800 degree centigrade and uh, that uh, effective inner chamber strictly on the uh, in the customer requirement means uh, what is the batch volume and uh, what will be the uh, volume of the work piece based on that we we designed the uh, box and chamber so we didn't mention effective inner dimension because it is very based on customer to customer but we have some models like up to 900 degree 1200 degree or 18 800 degree centigrade where maximum temperature controlling sensor and the heating element has been defined and it's mostly used in annealing furnace hardening mold and core ha handling sintering process it has been used this is the boggy hut furnace this boggy hut furnace nothing uh, but it uh, constructed as a shuttle means uh, it, it have a uh, 
guiding rail where the workload and work uh, work piece will be put on the on the guiding rail and you can uh, put this work piece inside the furnace through uh, through these guiding rails mm -hmm. and uh, we used a different type of insulation board through uh, outside of this heating chamber and also we use different type of heating element like nicr heater kanthal heater or sit moc si2 heater molybdenum silicon oxide heaters for different type of uh, temperature the volume is again it is customizable uh, we 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 don't define any uh, specific dimension because it is vary but we have our uh, temperature wise different type of model bhf 900 bhf 1200 bhf 1400 and bhf 1600 uh, this is the industrial bottom loading furnace previously we use the laboratory base the basic difference is that laboratory bottom loading furnace have a standard dimension like 120 by 120 mm by 120 mm. But for industrial bottom loading furnace, it is not limited to specific uh, dimension because it's uh, very, very much as per customer record. Some, sometimes it had to be used for the annealing process, sometimes uh, ceramic sintering process, sometimes zirconium sintering process, so uh, sometimes glass melting process. So based on the application, that volume and working chamber volume is uh, changes in large and the maximum temperature we, we provide up to 1800 degrees centigrade and we use different type of silicon carbide, kanthal, APM, MOSI to heating elements to go up to 1800 degrees centigrade and all bottom loading uh, furnaces come with the bottom lifting arrangement where bottom lifting plate fitted with DC motor or sometimes stepper motor or gear motor to open and lowering or uh, lowering and lifting the bottom bottom arrangement to the heating chamber. So that also can be controllable and programmable. Means if you need any specific speed to lifting or lowering the uh, bottom bottom plate, you can you can program it and how much it will going to stay inside inside the heating zone. That also can be programmable. Means uh, sometime for gas uh, melting application, one hour, two hour is needed. Sometime fifteen minutes needed. So that time also you can program well. And this was the electric conveyor mesh belt furnace. Electric conveyor mesh belt furnace nothing but it is the continuous heating process. Means whatever till now I discussed that is the batch type. Means once you keep your sample got mm. heat treatment, you have to come out. You have to put new samples. But for electric conveyor mesh belt furnace, it is a continuous heating uh, process. Means you are putting your uh, work pieces or samples inside that conveyor mesh belt furnace. It is being heat treated continuously. Until uh, sometimes it is 10 meter the length of this furnace. Sometimes 10 meter, or 20 meter, up to 60 meter, or it can be much more. So in this process, continuously uh, your your uh, work sample or work pieces uh, will be treated. And the conveyor, a uh, conveyor build, the speed of your uh, speed or movement of your work pieces can be controlled. Like if sometimes customer needed very low, uh, slow speed, like uh, two millimeter or three millimeter per second. Sometimes customer did 10, 10 millimeter per second. So we can change the conveyor build speed. We have different type of gear arrangement and uh, controlling arrangement. So we can control the conveyor build uh, speed of this controller. Temperature we can give up to 11, 11, 1500 degrees centigrade for conveyor mesh belt furnaces. And that will be two zones. Uh, one is loading zone and second one is the heating zone. And sometimes it is cooling, uh, 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 comes with the cooling chamber. So that heating chamber or cooling chamber, cooling chamber we use different type of water circulation circuit where uh, where, where suddenly that if sometimes quenching application is there, so sometimes uh, cooling chambers come with the water circulation circuit. Heating chamber, there is a provision of different type of gas like hydrogen atmosphere or cracked ammonia atmosphere, nitrogen atmosphere or argon at, at atmosphere in needed. So we can uh, pass the gases in, inside that heating chamber. So that facility also be there in the electrical conveyor mesh belt furnace. This is the annealing furnace. You know that annealing furnace basically uh, we were annealed a uh, different type of wire annealing, tube annealing, ACS metal or copper type of material. Uh, 
sometimes uh, so annealing of the temperature we can go up to 1200 degree centigrade for annealing process this this type of uh, metals where it's come with the feeding zone cooling zone and the size and feeding and cooling zone can be customizable and heating element and the type of controller ssr controller thyristor type of thyristor or pid controller or if customer need data logging features that all uh, uh, can be customizable and we can provide all type of solution to customer so whether your uh, uh, your product is basically annealing heat treatment or sometime crystallized transformation is there so that type of performance can be done in annealing furnace this is the p2 furnace uh, p2 furnace nothing but a cylindrical type designed and the top a uh, top of this uh, furnace uh, uh, in order to contain and uh, preserve heat and atmosphere during the process cycle you can see uh, the in image uh, this is basically we use kanthal type of heater inside and it is a cylindrical shape design uh, and uh, using for basically annealing application or any atmospheric or vacuum system we can implement uh, or give to this system it means customer need in vacuum application that we also can provide it or if needed any uh, atmospheric nitrogen atmosphere argon atmosphere or any type of uh, atmospheric uh, treatment is there that also facilitated uh, can be done in the pit furnaces uh, this is the cupellation furnace a uh, cupellation furnace is a uh, in which that alloyed material are treated under very high temperature and basically uh, associated with the gold gold silver metal where base material like lead copper zinc or bismuth uh, in work form so that work uh, is kept inside that uh, furnaces and high in the high temperature this precise metal remain apart and other other as react and become ashes or in a gaseous form and it's come out so basic uh, construction of the cupellation furnace is that there always should be air inlet fresh air, air inlet should be there and whatever in the heat treatment process the gases produce it comes out through exhaust fan or uh, we have our design so that the uh, the base material either it is gold or silver form remain in the cupel or inside the furnace and other uh, reactive gases or reagent gases or compound gases comes from uh, comes out from the furnaces through exhaust fan and the thing is that the exhaust is very important because that sometimes the gases and uh, reagent or chemical reaction is very uh, dangerous for the human health so that gases should, should be comes out from the that should not remain inside the furnace so exhaust uh, is very important uh, exhaust system is very important in this type of furnaces so we have our own uh, exhaust uh, fume and bullet uh, that exhaust system we uh, designed ourselves so that uh, any uh, poisonous gases should not be uh, uh, inside that furnaces the maximum temperature we offer up to 1200 degree centigrade also we provide different type of cupel cupel means you can put your based on your uh, standard requirement of what uh, gold or uh, silver different type of cupel size we also provide it you can put your raw or uh, work sample inside that cupel so after heat treatment your specific uh, gold and silver will be will be uh, a, I mean base base material will be there inside that cupel and other reagent will react and uh, either it will be uh, fumes or volatile form it will come out comes out from the furnaces uh, this is the microwave furnace till now we discussed about the resistance heating element with furnaces like kanthal heater nickel chromium heater or moasi to sic heater this is the microwave furnaces where the heating treatment not done by resistant heating but the magnetron that magnetron generate the microwave and the uh, and the samples absorb this microwave like uh, you know you have some sample is there the basic phenomena of the microwave furnace is that it is not induction furnaces means the material itself uh, going to absorb this uh, microwave uh, microwave and it it will go uh, uh, heat up so the uniformity like uh, uniformity of heating or the uh, gradient temperature gradient between the inner surface of the uh, material and the out surface of the material is very less with compared to the your induction based 
furnaces. So the biggest advantage of microwave furnace is it gives very less thermal gradient be, between your inner inner uh, uh, portion of the uh, workpiece and the outer portion of the workpiece. Maximum temperature we can go up to uh, 1600 degrees centigrade, and it is a, a magnetron we use. Basically, the magnetron and it is different wattage 900 watt, 1.2 kilowatt, up to 3 kilowatt magnetron is there. So, based on your sizes of the workpiece and the volume of the workpiece, we uh, and the power needed, we designed our uh, number of magnetron needed. And also, magnetron is a different type, like your air cooled magnetron is there or uh, water cooled magnetron is there. So we'll check oh, what type of magneton we, we are going to use. So what uh, cooling arrangement or what what type of controlling is there to control the magneton uh, efficiency. And we have our own PID controller to control the power delivered to the magneton to keep the uh, to keep and stable the temperature up to 1600 degrees centigrade. So up to 1600 degrees centigrade, we have our microwave furnaces. And uh, all comes with and uh, all comes with the uh, your MS body. Basically, it's come to to uh, a double uh, double MS body or SS body. It's come and the main inner chamber made of stainless steel, pure five to ten mm thickness is there. Uh, so basically, microwave furnace is very uh, very effective where you uh, you want your you require very less uh, temperature gradient uh, between your. Uh, inner and outer uh, portion of your work pieces. So, except uh, uh, furnaces, industrial or laboratory furnaces, we also offer different type of electric ovens. And electrical ovens we can offer up to 14,000 liter. And uh, yes, the volume, the basic standard electric oven have a temperature uni uniformity of plus minus uh, 10 degree. But obviously, if you have a 14,000 degree liter, then uh, uniformity may vary up to plus minus 15 to 20 degree centigrade. And temperature ranges we can offer up to 500 degree centigrade. And all uh, electric ovens come with provision of uh, gas, different type of atmospheric or gas supply. Like if you need any nitrogen, argon, or any atmospheric uh, uh, condition is there, we can uh, provision that provision we can provide in the electric oven also. So uh, still now we discuss very standard model, but uh, not our product is limited for certain uh, uh, certain model. There are many application wise we provide uh, customizable solution to customer like for ceramic uh, sintering furnace. Sometimes for vacuum gold or mar uh, mercury evaporation, we provide vacuum furnaces. Sometimes for uh, uh, our Glass melting application, we provide teal pouring furnaces and ceramic tile uh, uh, fusion application, we provide fast cooling furnaces, high temperature test facility with uh, UTM machine, fluidized bath. So all the custom customizable furnaces we offer, we are not restricted to any uh, particular some variant, but we are very open uh, to uh, to check um, is very uh, all the industry wise for ceramic industry glass industry or gold marker industry they need very various type of furnaces that is not limited to standard then we are very open to them to customizable our furnaces so these are some examples how we designed and customize our furnaces for their own applications so thank you very